Nobody knew we got back together. I had people hitting me up like, yo, let's run it, whatever. And then I didn't respond to any of them. Yeah, and then, damn. And then we just dropped it the next day. I know you didn't do it on purpose, but that's it was the It was probably the most stressful three nights of like a roster mania I've ever been a part of. Like from, I did, I, from waking up till going to sleep, like it was just stressful. Welcome back to the Optic Podcast. Today is episode 88. I'm here with Bose and T2P. And yeah. um, how was Hawaii, man? It was great. It was? Yeah, it was awesome. Expensive. Uh, wait, you had an expensive week because you went, I, what we I've heard is week. you went to Disney, then Universal, yes. then sh straight to straight Hawaii. Straight to Hawaii. So we had a nice little, you know, we had a nice little week. It was a good time. What's your, what's your day consist of in Hawaii, in paradise? Wake up, get the breakfast, which was insane. Best hotel breakfast I've ever had. They had like quiche with bacon in it. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you don't get this at the Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, and then after we eat breakfast, we'd usually sit up there for, like, 30 minutes because we, well, our strategy was because we had a free voucher for breakfast, so we'd get breakfast for free. So we would max at breakfast. Okay. Like, we'd max at breakfast, and then we'd pretty much either go to the beach or sit by the pool or do something, whatever, pretty much all day, get some drinks, uh... And then we would either, we did a luau one night, and then we'd pretty usually get, like, dinner at each of the different resorts, like, top restaurants, so we'd, like, try everything out. What was your favorite spot? Um, I don't know, probably, there's probably this place called, uh, I think it was called, like, Nick's Catch or something, and we tried, uh, Abalone, which is, like, I don't know if it's indigenous to there. Is that the right word? <laughs> just hearing you say big words is just funny. <laughs> uh, is that indigenous? I, I think it's native to Hawaii. I don't know. Might not be. I could be completely. Um, but it was fire. It tasted like a McChicken. You know but, it was like, fish? but it was like. <laughs> but it was like eighty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it was fire. I never. I said it to the waiter, and he looked at me cross-eyed. He was like, <laughs> "I was like, it tastes like McChicken." He was like, <laughs> he, he was this guy. He, your food, he, like, he, yeah, and, eighty-five dollars. You're like, yeah, McChicken. Well, me and Ed shared it, but mm -mm. but yeah, it was fire. And then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there were a couple times we were supposed to go zip lining twice. The first time I woke up with Whoa. a bum neck. That's Second dangerous. time I got sunburned too bad, which was oh, we were supposed to go the day that we left, and I just couldn't go. And then we were supposed to go snorkeling as well, but my neck was messed up, so I couldn't look down. So everything that we wanted to do, we could do. <laughs> What'd you do to your neck? Uh, they had really soft pillows. Straightest snorkeler ever. I need hard pillows, really soft pillows, like. Oh uh, okay. Like I, and it was the the night after we landed, so we flew like all day. So it was the night after we the day after we landed, and like it just I guess I like slumped like. You know, you know when you're really tired, your neck just Yeah. But it was really good. It was a really good time. No dolphin swimming. No dolphin I've swimming. I've never been have you ever been to Hawaii? I didn't see a dolphin. Uh, I've never Hawaii. been. <laughs> Apparently it's like the place to be right now because it's like cause now like if you go across the border, it's a lot harder because of all the like, COVID protocols and stuff. Because it's not just like passport and then you go. Well they and know so, it's the place to be. So now Hawaii is like because you don't have to have a passport to go to Hawaii. So you just go, and apparently it's like, is there a lot of people there? Uh, actually, no, surprisingly. Really? Which there, island did you go to? Maui. There were, I mean, I've never been there, so I don't really have a baseline, but there weren't that many. I mean, there was a good amount of people like the last couple days, but the first couple days we got there, it was like, there was nobody at the beach. Y'all went midweek though, right? It was shark week. It was shark week? It was shark week. Holy shit. That's why. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. I went paddle boarding for like three hours Did and I you? just kept looking down. That's that's written now. That's risky. That is crazy. I, rather I can't go believe under. you did that. I Seriously? Go yeah, dead serious. That's where you'll see under, some shit. Like that. paddle boarding? You're going pretty far. Well, not that. You it's hard to kinda like see down. I'd rather yeah, be and under and see it coming until at me. it's on you. Fuck that. I don't want my you know foot getting bit off while if I'm just... If it's 30 feet down, you can't see it. You think it would the water... How deep do you think water was? Y'all are stressing him out. Shit, no, it was not that feet. deep. It was maybe like six feet deep. That's enough for a bull shark. Wait, the bull beach? shark? Yeah. It was only six feet? I mean, we yeah, like... that's cap. I was just... I just wanted to say it anyways, but... We went... Yeah, six feet? That's, that's well, not... Well, you didn't walk all the way out type shit. It might not even have been six feet. It might have been five feet. What? You're I was on the top ocean. of a board. 
Yeah. I'm, what would you think? I'm Christopher Columbus? Just uh, set sail. I'm fucking just going out? <laughs> no, I don't. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I think if you fall in, you're fucked. I stayed pretty close, and I made sure I didn't fall in. I was sitting down. Oh, now we get to the bottom of it. Huh? <laughs> you were sitting down paddleboarding? Yeah. You were straddling? <laughs> were you cool. straddling the board? Sometimes, and then I'd see someone, and apparently the correct way to throw up the hang loose is like this. Well, if you do, it, you if you do it too hard, the... <laughs> <laughs> because we we met some we we met some people that lived there uh, one night. We went out for dinner and uh, we did karaoke night, and there were these, there were these there was a group of like firefighters that were starting like to be firefighters. And the, them and their girlfriends were there, and we were like the only two tables. And they, they like invited us over, and we had a good night. Uh, but yeah, you have to do this. It's the looser the better. Like the, the loser like, the better. Only one person threw yeah. it up to me, like in the resort. One one guy he had a full service suit on. He was like, <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> yeah. and I was, was that before you knew? Oh, okay. I didn't know you were chill like that. He was chill like that. <laughs> but no, nah, it was it was a good time. Oh, I got so fucked up the night that we like were partying with these people. Uh, we were doing sake bombs, and I was doing the McConaughey like. Oh. <laughs> it has a video. It's You're good. just doing it with random firefighters. Yes. Where Where did they fight fires? I guess in Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. How many fires are there? I don't know, but it was a good time. There is a volcano there. It was a good time. <laughs> so did you know the biggest vol or the biggest mountain in the world is actually in Hawaii? It's just underwater. The whole did you know there's a whole continent under New Zealand? Continent. Yeah. <laughs> Atlantis. Whole, yo, Matt, look up new uh look up Zealandia. I'm not trolling. Zealandia? <laughs> not trolling. Have you ever seen North Sentinel Island? Zealandia sounds uh, like a Disney movie. The super remote island where they throw spears at you if, like you fly oh, a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Apparently that's where DB Booker land. DB Cooper land. Yeah, all right, yeah, they took his ass down. <laughs> Dude, apparently New <laughs> who's, Zealand. Who's DB Cooper? Oh, <laughs> isn't that the away with the not murder with the money? Jumped out the plane or He something? jumped out of a plane and like That's where he landed? Wait, no. What are the I think, odds? I think no I'm getting I think getting two stories mixed I'm up. I'm getting two stories mixed up, I, for sure. What are the wait, odds? I think you're talking. Wait, you're, you're flying you down a parachute and you just see a circle like of people gathering with spears. And you got captured by. <laughs> like, what no, the no, no. fuck? What was that from? <laughs> what the? Fuck? I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. Wait, you're just falling I'm down. Falling with money bags. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> Bro, that'd be crazy. Okay, say, Matt. All right, what is Zealandia? You got a mic still? No mic today. No mic. All right, well, New Zealandia is supposed to be underneath New Zealand, and it's supposed to be just as big as Australia. I'm not trolling. I heard, I just heard about this too. So how does this so work? Like, Ze New Zealand's actually only like the top of the island. We about and to say underneath Zootopia? the water is like a whole continent that's just underwater. But you said that thing and it made me think of that. So it's not a continent. It's... No, it is. It's just underwater. Wait, wait. Click the first one. See that? You see wait, it? so that's New Zealand? Yeah, that's New Zealand, but the, you only see the top of it. Wait, that's see? actually kind of kind of insane, right? How do you only see the top of it? Because is there the like it's underwater. Is there how like a not... tunnel that you can go to get there? No, you just explain it's just the, the same. Only, oh, wow. it's just the only part of it process. that's popping up. Like, so there's yeah. the biggest mountain like in the world, it's like but it's underwater. underwater. It's no? the only part that is. Well, yeah, but yeah, that, doesn't, that doesn't count though, because people don't count it. People don't count it. Wait, don't count Everest what? is still the biggest. They don't count the underwater one. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Yes, it does. I don't count that. Why? Because it's underwater. The I can't fucking live there. Surfaces. What are you gonna do? Count it. If it surfaces, yeah, it's countable. It's only countable if it surface. Only surface will. What does it mean? What do you mean surfaces? It won't surface. Like it just. I mean, it could. It definitely just, could. I don't mm -hmm. think it will though. Well, it it would surface insane. at one point That'd and then went insane. underwater. Is that rock actually Zealandia? Oh, so insane. like, was it's it? Like, that's the part that's above <laughs> water right there. <laughs> that fucking land that's is just coming, coming out of the water. water. I'd be like. The yeah, dude. So was it above water? Was it above water? Then got submerged. Pangea. Yeah. It so it was Pangea. it was at one time. It was part of Pangea at one point, yeah. Ah, okay. I guess that I mean you gotta count that it. might be countable then. That's what I'm saying. That's it's like pre name, it's prehistoric continent. That's what I'm saying. I thought this was pretty wild. That is pretty no, that wild. That is kinda crazy. I did not know there was an entire continent. So you, wait, so tell me about the <clears throat> the mountain that's under Hawaii. Oh, How I I've I have nothing I don't know anything about no. it. I just saw it one day. Yo, what was I just about to say, dude? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the flight over there, it's literally 2,000 miles of just straight ocean. I was tweaking. Oh, my yeah, God. Nah. And the Pacific Ocean 
it, apparently its average depth is like 2,000 meters. That's yeah, a lot. but what's like 50 meters to 2,000? Either way, I'm fucked. That's true. If it's 50 meters to 2,000, it makes no difference to me. Uh, yeah, it does. You know but there's 2,000. I'm not going to be allowed to get dragged 2,000 meters down. You never like, know. Oh, that's true. That's still insane. A giant squid comes a up. A giant squid's blowing air in my mouth as he pulls <laughs> me down. <laughs> keeping it's, me alive. It's keeping you alive all the yeah. way at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> With its giant beak. <laughs> They're so vicious. You died with the pressure would kill you before you that thing killed you. What? Yeah, you just explode, bro. Imagine if I can't. I hate that feeling. Turned to mush. Flying over you'd water. Uh, no. You don't like flying. I, I would get rather, to a certain depth and just. I would rather fly over water. Chica like when we went to Chicago <laughs> recently, we like flew over Chicago, went out over the water, and came back. And I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck is this pilot doing? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Like dead ass. I'm like, what the? Fuck? Like, no, what that's the, what the, the fuck is he doing? Going into Chicago, they always do that. They fly past the city and then turn around over the lake. I'm like, I hate that doing too. Cali too, dude. <laughs> like, bro, SNA, why? Dude. You I'm missed like, look, I'm looking around and seeing if anyone else is paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, what yo, the fuck? You guys don't get it. He's about like, to I'm going to Texas. Shit. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> Dude, I'm like looking out the window, like, bro, we're kind of low, bro. Like, have you ever been to fucking? Have you ever been to Sacramento? You have. Flying into Sac because I, I had a connecting flight in Sacramento and I had never been there before. So I looked out the window, dog. There's nothing there. It's like fields. Yeah. It's like farm fields, and that's it. I thought I, was, I thought it was like a big city. There's got to be a big city. The Don't airport. Talk shit about my capital. Sacramento's the capital of California. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Just not the capital of America, because that's Washington. That's correct. Um, I actually like didn't know that for a long okay, time. Okay. Good. Wait. The Washington part. Yeah. Let's just move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move for, on. For like, when I was a kid. Who, what did you think was the capital? Harrisburg. Why? <laughs> huh? Why? I don't know. <laughs> like, I, until, I actually don't wait, know. Okay, now we gotta like dig a little. Until how long? Uh, I mean like 16. when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I had no idea, bro. You're still a kid. So what age? Probably like 12, 13. What the fuck? Eighth grade? I don't remember. Eighth grade? You're looking know. around at Harrisburg. Really? Let's just move on. <laughs> maybe, so the, maybe earlier than that. I've already dug this hole. <laughs> I've already dug this hole. Now I must lay in it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, so the, uh, the, the rumored narrative is that you came back from... Uh, from Hawaii, landed, and then you found out about all salvaged the team it. stuff. I salvaged it. You, you salvaged it? Yes, I'm the salvager. So who's the destroyer? Can't throw names. He must. Oh. The world needs answers. <laughs> he must. Listen, man, nobody must. destroyed anything. We were well, having... then you didn't salvage anything. What? Then you didn't salvage anything. I know, I was trolling, bro. I already said this on stream. The we, we wanted to make... <laughs> We wanted to make changes, and then we realized we didn't give ourselves a fair chance at a at a real season, and mm. we didn't make changes. That's mature. Yeah. And we talked it out. That's and, mature. You know, that's all that happened. Fine. And people all, dude, people are like going down the rabbit hole. They're like, something's not adding up here. Like, <laughs> oh, they I'm are. like, dude, I what the that. fuck do you mean? Like, we were going to make a change, <laughs> and then are. we didn't. Like, <laughs> gets like, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying <laughs> it. I've, buying seen it. Some, I've seen some wild stuff. Dude, people are like, Seth came back from Hawaii, and he just, he had no idea. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he came back to get this burning. Like, like everything's just on fire, and I'm like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> I, I just landed. No, it's not what happened, dude. We didn't talk about roster moves like basically at all while we were while I was in Hawaii. Everything happened in a three night window. Yeah, I think that's what people can't understand. Night one, oh my god, wanted to make changes. Night two, what the fuck? Or morning two, I woke up, <laughs> I woke up and I and I was like, wait, 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 we're trolling right now. Morning two, I wake up and say we're trolling. We call Brandon, get him back on board. After that, we call Ender, get him back on board. And then that's pretty much it. We had a team talk, and then we had one more team talk to confirm that everyone was like still on board. We gave it two nights, and then that was it. And the team talks are just you four? Us four and Ray. Oh, you five. Okay. Yeah. Because <clears throat> people, I mean, I think there's a lot of people that, out there that think like the whole org is involved, and like, and, yeah, and it's like, yeah. Dude, the form was in the call. Me, like, I was giving out information. I'm like, dude, what? Oh, yeah. Fuck, I bro? saw that. People that thought you were leaking stuff. Like, and I was like, oh, I care so I'm home. Like, <laughs> <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but nobody, 
like everyone had leaks for like you know suspected rosters all, like Claude death squads uh, all that <laughs> shit and then like nobody knew we got back together i had people hitting me up like yo let's run it whatever and then i didn't respond to any of them yeah and then damn and then we just dropped it the next day yeah well, that's, 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 that's even better because now you know if a team that's together and they try to get skunk behind their back they're gonna fall apart down the line and they didn't do it on purpose but that's it was the, it was probably the most stressful three nights of like a roster mania i've ever been a part of like from, I mean, it, from I, waking up till going to sleep like it was just stressful Things are just so different this year. It seems like because I, I was talking about it. It seems like most years there you know about the th few three like the few moves that are happening. It seems like this year everybody just dumped their rosters. There's just explosions happening everywhere. Yeah, well, just, they just yeah. dumped their rosters into like boiling pits. It's just and now there's just like -pick. pros. Let me re what a specific jigsaw jig trap you just said. Nah, cod boiling rosters. Pits? Cod rosters have been so just weird. Like, so who are the only teams running it back? You, Surge. Surge and thieves us and thieves are 100 percent. i don't know about surge i don't know okay i mean I, I i don't really i'm not in the know like people like i'm not one of those pros that's like asking people what their rosters yeah, are i mean yeah i figured like, you're in hawaii there's other people that are like on team speak every night and they know everything and then there's me and like yeah, i haven't talked kids, to anybody some kids love that yeah. some kids <laughs> love they the live roster for that shit, i haven't talked to anybody you i'm just playing tar tar like, sitting in the call just yeah once my team's good i don't give a fuck anymore like, like dude wait what the fuck are they gonna actually do that oh my god and then it's like holy shit you like, no, you're shit. faded you're faded like, nah it's not even no you don't know you don't know the austin shit nah never mind never mind like, yeah. What? How what do you think? On? How do you think your squad's gonna do? No slide canceling. Um, I mean, hopefully good. I don't know. I mean, obviously There's good. No slide canceling. There's no the slide. No slide canceling. Apparently, next I'm next cod. Asking the wrong guy. Dude. I don't know. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard different things. I've heard yes. I've heard no. What does that look? I was just thinking. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Right. Have, have people like There's talked about the game at all? Uh, I think only. I've heard that there's only been one round of play tests so far. Yeah. Actually, no, there was a play test <clears throat> like a year mm -hmm. ago or like eight months ago <laughs> that like sure, that's helpful. pros played in. But then recently there's only been one round that like exclusive people have played in. And then September 15th is like when it's all, all revealed. So hmm. we'll see then. I would love no a year slide with canceling? no slide canceling. Straight up, that sounds fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we're running I would back. love it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bose is going to be in kickoff tournaments until 4 a.m.? Yeah, until fucking three months and I quit again. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I hope there's no side canceling. Yeah, I mean, that it would be, it, it'll be interesting. I th I've, I've heard rumors of a slide. That's slide canceling kind of is like the same ghosts. as jetpacks. It's literally a different era of COD. Yeah, I it's, agree. It's... I would almost rather have jetpacks than the slide canceling. I would much rather have jet slide canceling just it, oh, I can I I don't like slide canceling. At least at least in jetpacks like it's fun to watch. And slide canceling is like everybody's like skipping. You're literally around. slide yeah. like Vanguard like you just slide into people and hip fire like dude. <clears throat> yeah. Like the, it's, I noticed that when I was playing, there was like this little broken mechanic where like if you slide a corner and hit fire, like bro, there's no way they're killing you. Dude, because you kill them with three bullets yeah. too. It's like, dude, the, oh man. It's just all about like it's how just you camera people. snaking around the map. Bro, You're just snaking insane. each other the whole fucking Literally, time. Yeah. It's just like you fucking slide, hit fire, that guy come back, slide, hit fire, the next guy. Like, you're shooting people, you're shooting a ghost, dude. Yeah. Like, how is that skillful? I don't get that. Nah, it's just such a, it's such like a unneeded mechanic in a game. It's like, it, yeah. like why, what's the point? I, I mean, I I always have been like kind of uh, nervous about going back because because it seems like COD has been so fast for the past eight years. Well, I hope the movement is still like somewhat fast. I just hope that it's like back to like sprint cameraing and like jump cameraing and shit like that. Like slide canceling, drop is just, shotting. Yeah, drop shotting. <laughs> I love the drop shot. Yeah, drop shotting is fun. Like, dude. Because like shit. the I feel like the ghost slide was perfect. I mean, the the go, the game had some issues, but the ghost slide felt awkward as fuck. Yeah, it did. It was like a delayed. It was you delayed. Far. You could like go. You would. You were once you committed to it. You were committed to yeah, it, and yeah. you would go five feet. Like it was far. Yeah. Okay. And it was like it was like a slow pull up time afterwards. The maybe, ghost slide maybe was kind of like, ass. Maybe it was like, like the ghost slide was like was used only for okay only to, slide like, to get away. And to get and to slide. Yeah, I guess point. you could do it to get away, but it would look trolly. But yeah, you just yeah. slide the blitz point, throw a smoke. You wouldn't do it into a gunfight. That would look faded as fuck. Yeah, no, not into a gunfight is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I think it was like that. I guess that's I, why I, I was saying I it was perfect. Now. Yeah, because it is advanced. It is movement, but it's not. You weren't really spamming it. Yeah, you're not yeah. like 
I, I guess the the what was it, the World War Two dolphin dive wasn't bad either. I love it, how they put that in the middle of the jetpacks in the slide canceling area randomly just to kill the dynasty for no reason. <laughs> Here's World War Two. It's we're not gonna do anything like this. No. Do it. <laughs> just to kill the that that's what they were horrible. thinking at Activision. That yeah, game probably. was horrible. That game was horrible. That that was the have y'all ever gone back and played it? No. Fuck no. Dude, it's it's rough. That game is so bad. Holy it's shit. Great. It's great. It's just great. Even, even how the guns shoot feels so <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's yeah. It's like it's like the barrel doesn't move, but the flash is there. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. weird, dude. <laughs> I went back it's like and played a picture. it. Whenever yeah. it went free to play on uh on PS4, we played it one time, like just to get a YouTube video out of it, and we couldn't even do that. Was, was that like, bad? I was like, damn, like I forgot how bad it was. But yeah, uh, y'all, so so that so we're good, so everything's good on our end. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we just sit back and enjoy the show of yep. everyone <laughs> uh, freaking out in yep. roster changes, uh, and it's heating up. Okay. Okay. So we have an update. Uh, Asim is restricted free agent. RCD's t- r- oh, a rumor. This. All right, let's talk about the real thing. Who's going to phase, bro? Yeah. Who's going to phase? Because that's the biggest story right now. Is um, Alec is not on phase, which I think is a huge mistake. That's a real bad. I, think I that's cannot a- believe that they're getting rid of Alec. I'm not going to lie. Every listen in, you could tell his worth to that team. And and you're still going to get rid of him? You guys want to go back to the panicky shit? Fine. All right, bro. But I, I don't know who could replace him that would be able to be yeah, just as just as helpful level. to them as Alec was. I'm sure they'll realize that like halfway through this year. Let me think. You think so? Yeah, I, I, I know so. Yeah, Alec's a great teammate. Alex's one of the best teammates I've Alex's ever had. Alex's a great teammate. So people people are saying but, Cammy. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but then what if they don't get Cammy? Are they just fucked? I mean, who are the like, ARs that are available? No idea. Uh, Is Cam Cammy's restricted, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that means complications, right? Yeah, that just means the Toronto just can just hold him. So Toron- it's like, oh yeah, Toronto's just gonna hold him. Yeah, they can if they want. I mean, they they pick and choose who they want. Like if yeah. if like Phase yeah. could offer a bag, and they'll just be like, no, like yeah. someone else could if offer. Like, no, we don't want to make that team happen. They'll just be yeah. like, no. Like, we let Alec go to. That's the thing about like shit, restricted bro. free agents and unrestricted free agents, bro. It, it just makes the, everything leaves so. Leaves the choices up to people you don't even know. Complicated, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like someone at the top saying, no, nah, not happening. I'm actually curious who's gonna go. So so. Apparently they're getting rid of Arcides because of a, I mean, I guess because of a rough year, KD wise. So that's just so cap. What it was. So what do you think? Obviously, you think that's a, a mistake. What do you think about the Toronto Toronto uh, dropping their team? I don't know because I, was, I wasn't. I wasn't around them all year. They dropped, I also wasn't around Phase. They but dropped just, half their team, I think. Right? They dropped. Ban- I know they dropped Bans and, Bans and Kimmy. And I've also never teamed with anyone in Toronto, so I don't really know. So the current team is Insight, Kleenex, looking for two. They'll probably pick up one of their. What what's the what's the guy's name that Pixie or Scrappy shit? right? Oh, apparently Scrappy might play for the real team. Mm. I don't know. I Which think, would I think be... Cammy's fucking godlike. Yeah, right. Cam's good. I think Cammy's godlike. I don't know why they get rid of him. It must be something else. I mean, they're like... picking up. You think they're picking up Scrappy? <clears throat> that I but Scrappy's like more of a main, so they'd have two mains. Oh really? I, <laughs> I, I'm pretty I, sure. I, I mean. I haven't watched much challengers, so I don't know how the challengers yeah, teams I play. Really know them that well. I mean, I'm sure he could run flex or insight. Like someone could run flex. I mean. You Kle- to Kleenex is god like that. That kid's really fucking good. Yeah, Kleenex is good. I thought it'd be like Kleenex Cami, the ones that would be staying, but I don't know. I, I don't know Damn. them that well. Who, who IGL'd on Toronto? I think Insight. Oh, okay. But like I said, I have no fucking idea. Sorry, yeah, I don't sorry know Ben, if, it's, if it was you. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Sad to see Vance go. I've heard uh, rumors of, or I, I saw rumors online, I don't know anything about this, that Methods, I don't know if he's trolling his, his, uh, Scrim or is Scrim? He's on the breaching one, right? I don't know if he was trolling. I will his, say nothing. Yeah, I don't know if he was trolling his stream. I'm not gonna ask Seth because he probably knows, but he he like kind of alluded to the fact he wasn't on breach anymore. So I think I, saw, I thought I saw something like an official announcement. Really? Oh, there it's was like, an official like announcement. Vivid and Nero are the two on the team. Damn. But like I said, I thought I'm. Damn, I'm I feel like a lot of these teams. That's a mistake in my opinion. Yeah, I thought they should have like just franchised them. Right, like you know you, I mean? dude. Yeah, no, you I got to start thinking. You can't well, just... Is it going to go Paris? No, nah, th- honestly, if they do get rid of Zinn, I would be very surprised. I think that's a huge mistake. Wait, I think it's a mistake is as that well. Florida roster What's up, Paige? Paige, you want to hop on the pod? Thanks. Is that Florida <laughs> roster real? It's just a Patty? My gosh. <laughs> that's serious? <laughs> one v 4 It's just a Patty? Just laying on his belly? <laughs> Yay! Coffee time! I'm double, I'm double fisting. Oh, thanks. What if I just ripped out on the podcast right now? Um, Would you guys care if I just started eating the sandwich? <laughs> 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 I 
Holy hell, look at all these roster now, changes. I was going to say, um, I feel like a lot of teams are making changes, but at the end of roster mania, I feel like a lot of teams are going to look really similar to how they look this year. You think you think teams are going to go back? Like the people are making like one change, two changes, but like to really blow up a team, it's got to be minimum three people There's gone. A lot of blown up roster right there. I mean, look at subliners. Look Holy at shit! Florida's look at Minnesota. Gone, New York's look gone, at. Minnesota's I mean, yeah, gone, Paris, but like a lot of these teams, that's, that's like their rosters the are blown up. But like, I bet you they're gonna re-sign their play, like some of really? their players. Like, if, okay. I like, you know that. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it might like, look like everyone's dropped, but I, everyone's trying to make moves right now. But eventually, like after the dust settles, like people are gonna have yeah, to crawl. Like back. they're gonna have to pick. They're gonna have to pick two of their players up. I just think yeah. I think it's a mistake league Even wise. Yeah, I mean, obviously you you want a roster to, like to play to win, but to not have Zen in there, to not have I don't see Clay or Krim. That's fucking crazy to me. Yeah, yeah, the, that the is crazy. One's crazy. The the Krim one's crazy. I mean, crazy? the guy's got forty chips, but you got to think he just burned every bridge he's fucking been on. Yeah, that's that's like why I think he doesn't have a team. I think that yeah, I think he just burned a lot. I think he knows that. Am I the last one? The last do one Clint, standing? Do, do Krim and I? You lit your bridge on fire. Do Who? Krim. No, I'm saying like from the from the old days. Am I the last one? If they don't get if on they a don't team, play? well, I heard I've heard a lot of things that Clay's getting on team though. Oh, okay. Like sure everyone, Clay, 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 I think Clay has said that he's had like multiple offers. Like Clay's gonna be on. team. He's a little more like. like I yeah. I would be shocked if Porter doesn't get on a team. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked, but it would be crazy. It would be you wouldn't be shocked. I would, I would I be, be shocked. shocked. I'd I'd be shocked. I think he's burned a lot of his bridges. I think. I mean, still. At like, a point, you need a bridge to get to a team. Do you guys know if if Krim and Kismet get along? Do they get along? I think they all get along with Kismet. Yeah, I think they all like. Kismet. I think Kismet's I mean, just easy to get along with. I don't think Kismet with. likes them. That's why there's a bunch of dashes there. <laughs> well, I think they literally dropped their whole team except for Kismet. That's what I'm saying. Kismet was a 99 Kismet overall. Kismet didn't show up one day and didn't have a team. So who's Hydra? You know so who's Hydra going to? I swear, Kismet on P1 Gav. There was one day we were scrimming him. I was in uh, like P1 in the the ring, and I'm like we're in a battle, and I, we're like finessing each other. And then he goes up on top of the tree and just waits. And I was like, this kid's a 99. Like I'm never reading that. <laughs> he went on top of the tree and just sat there on top Dude, of a he, tree. He has hot spots. Bro. I slide canceled the like the heady, and he was just sitting on top of the tree. I was like, do you remember in MW on Petrograd when he would play the like the blue building, and he would just disappear and just go on like a 10 street. He's got only, hot spots. Only in blue. Yeah, and you catch him anywhere there? else, you would just kill him. But he got to blue, and you chased him. He had daddy popped. You can't kill him. Can't kill him. Just disappears. Dude, a cra crazy memory I just had. I used to play in like 2018, way after Ghost Cycle. I went back in the off season and played Ghost Wagers with it was me and Jukin, the guy who is works here now, and Kismet. And the three of us were playing Ghost Wagers at randomly not streaming at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going a, hard. Yeah, just going hard. We like, played. Uh, then we played a we played a, uh, a a show match against Exposed. You know the millionaire now. So <laughs> things change quick quickly. Um, but yeah. So you, do you think do you think Krim could you think Krim would go back to New York? I Wouldn't have no like idea it? what's what's happening there. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I. I mean, from what what we saw on the flank from them, I mean, yeah. they're like, they're like Krim hates New York. Yeah, they're done. I mean, it was so bad. What was going on in that call? It was so bad. I was watching in Hawaii. I was like, I was like, babe, like I gotta watch it. Oh, the hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I like, holy watch shit. It. Like, look, like, I gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah. I did not watch that. Would a Krim say you're dead to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, was, <laughs> I was like, this is he free. Was it was like, it was like, I forget what time it was, but I was just sitting there loving it. I mean, not lo loving it, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, realistically, his only choices are Paris, Rocker, Florida, and and yeah. So and that's Breach. the thing. A like, lot of people options, Wake so. keeps trolling. He's like, like I'll play with Krim, you know, or like he keeps saying shit like that. But I, I have no idea. Where who is where is Wake? I don't know. Oh, is he? Pretty not, sure he's at Florida. No. Yeah, they dropped. They they released their entire team. Oh, oh shit. shit! I didn't even know that. I thought Wake was still there. I mean, but like you said, he might still. They might still run him back. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no way all these players that are getting dropped are not in the league or not like. Dude. you know what I'm saying? Look at all those free agents. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Like, it just it seems Holy like uh, they just threw every pro in the pot, and now people are just making teams. Now yeah, it's, now I feel it's like the game this in the game. Atta I hope Attach gets a team too, man. 
Like that, people, there's people out there that are giving different level of effort right now of, of, who, of who's getting back into the league. You understand what I'm saying? There's yeah. a whole other game that's being played right now that like no one watches except for the people involved. You know, that's kind of crazy to think about. Oh, it's, it's there's people that are just okay with like like someone like Havoc. I bet he's not riding anyone. I bet he's just sitting there and whatever happens happens. And and then he could be in challenge next year and not care or like not, not give a fuck. He's like, well, yeah, fuck it. I don't ride anyone. And there's other people who are like in riding. everyone's DMs. Oh, they're they It's like it's like you kind of have to. There's yeah. one TS the league, out like, there like, that is just. It's like an office building that's just like on fire. Like SpongeBob, remember SpongeBob when it goes to his brain and it's the office is on fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that's what it's like. They're all jumping calls, riding. Really? Oh, yeah. They're like, yeah, you're goaded, dude. Let's fuck. Like, <laughs> you're goaded, dude. Let's he can not think that at all. He can just be lying. Like, yeah. People are playing Damn. mind games out there. I'm I was telling getting you. Costed, blah, blah, blah. I was getting it's costed, like and then next year they'll come to the team and they'll just cost. Cause is, is there a pro that's the best at that? That is the best. You? <laughs> 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 you are pretty. I forgot about yeah, that. He was good I forgot at that. about your whole ride. Uh, he's good at that. Mm. I got to give it to him. It's a game within a game. If you don't play, you get left out. That shit kind of. I mean, it does sound stressful, but it kind of sounds fun once you get through it. You're like, damn, how did no. I end up here? It's no? not fun. It's not fun ever. No, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> I was like, it kind of sounds a little fun. It, it sounds if fun you're a to free watch. Agent, and you're good. If you're a freak, it's fun. <laughs> you're a freak, it's fun. If you're a free, if you're a, a free agent and you're good, it's probably fun because you're like, oh, this team wants me, this like, team oh, wants yeah, me, this yeah, team yeah, wants yeah. me, this team wants me. But like, yeah. yeah. But there's just not enough spots anymore. Yeah. I mean, there's I was, twelve yeah, it's teams. It's stressful. That's what I was it's thinking. stressful. Unless you're like, unless you're like a top talent in the league, then you're good. I mean, then you're I good. Mean, we're talking. We're sitting here talking about Krim. Like he's a top talent of all time, and we don't know if he's going to get on a team. That's insane. That, I mean. And then, but there's always like the new kids that come up and they're into like, nah, they're the new super the good. new gen is is like they're actually like nasty. Yeah. So it's like that's why that's I mean that's why you see a lot of them coming into the league now and having success. So Hydra is not on New York. I guess not. I thought he I thought he was Another maybe he's restricted. But it's weird right now because it's it's really weird right now because like there's still a lot of really good talent in challengers, but I feel like a lot of the talent that's in challengers has been tapped into the league already. Really? Mm. Like so, the top, like the top, like the top has been left. like chopped off of like the challengers players, and they're on the league, and there's like there's only like a handful now of challengers like the players that the would Mohawks, the, yeah that would actually else. like do damage in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's weird. Because I, I feel like in roster media, it always it always comes to a point like this where like a new generation like, will start it. coming in. Like, should we just like go like just risk it all and just go for a challenge? Good. I mean, you could, but like when the new generation's coming in, like all of the top talent gets picked out, and then it like goes through another rebuilding year of like the new guys getting back to the top. Yeah. And like they get paid, it's just like. So you think Vanguard was the rebuilding year, or or after yeah, Vanguard? Every year it happens. Every year it happens. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, not yeah. every year, because like Cold War, we didn't really see years. that many amateur players come in, did we? Tom Gravity, Paul X. There was a, there was quite a few. Were there? Yeah, there was. Not Sandy, an MW. Not Sandy. an MW though. Oh, yeah, not, no, no, MW too. There was like a. Really? I think half the league was new pros. In MW. Yeah, isn't it like Wake and yeah. all, that whole that whole era? Mac. Era, yeah, yeah. Fucking Wake man. Mac, because yeah, yeah, they were all Fucking challengers. Man. Really? Yeah, there was a lot. Ah. Uh, but all right, but yeah, that's what whatever. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's still just developing and they're they'll always just keep coming and taking our spots. <laughs> the old heads. And eventually they have to. Yeah. It's like, like we did the, the, to the other people. The cycle of life. The circle of life. <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to and see. And then you'll find me on the stream. If you're phase, who do you pick up as your last as for our cities? I don't even know. Our cities. <laughs> it's a hard guy to replace. I fucking just beg Alex to come back. I made a mistake. Yeah, he'd, say, he'd he'd probably he'd probably say yes. He's so nice that he might. He's so do it. nice. But if I were him, I'd just say fuck him. But now, see, like, I feel like it's <laughs> I feel like maybe it's too late now though. Like, the wound has festered. Yeah, I don't know. Like yeah. with I'm us, sure Alex feels scorned. Like with and, us, they told Ender and Brandon, and then. Like, probably four hours later, I was on the phone with Brandon. Yeah. Like, that's like, quick. That was quick. Like, yo, You've, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? What's funny? <laughs> but, yeah. No, that, that is, I mean, that's typical. Because apparently, I mean, didn't he tweet something like he found out from somebody else? 
Oh, really? Alex, yeah, I th- unless see, it was photoshopped. I don't see, know. He said shout out to so-and-so for telling me. Yeah, I think it was that, Afro, right? Yeah, I think shout I did see that. Shout out to Afro for telling me. Yeah, I think I did see that. Which is kind of a... I Wait. Mean, that's, no, 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 no. I don't think that's what happened. That's I not saw, what happened? No, okay, okay. Happened. Then I saw a photoshopped... I, did, right, I saw something was. that was photoshopped I did see that then, as well. Because I saw a, a clip that's... Or a, a screenshot, but... He could also just be trolling and tell like Oh, yeah. He is that. I know who told him or whatever, but... Okay. Never mind then. All right, we're about 30 minutes in, so let's take a quick uh, ad break. Roster Man is crazy, bro. What a wonderful podcast it has been so far, but it is not as good as your face or the sponsors for today's podcast. First being DraftKings. Football fans, join the next generation of fantasy football with Rainmakers Football, the first ever NFT fantasy game from DraftKings. It's the only NFT fantasy game licensed by the NFLPA. Now you can play... Uh, all season for millions in prizing. By building the ultimate NFT franchise right now, everyone can get their full roster starter pack for free. Buy, sell, bid, and win player card NFTs of the biggest name uh, names in the game through regular drops and auctions on DraftKings Marketplace. It kind of sounds like collecting football cards, but online. It's pretty dope. Um, build your NFT franchise and enter free Rainmakers football contest all season long to compete for millions in prizing. The next generation of fantasy sports is here. Download the DraftKings daily fantasy app, sign up with the promo code OPTIC, click the Rainmakers title, and opt in to get your first card for free. Plus, play for millions in prizes, uh, prizes all football season while building the ultimate NFT fantasy franchise with Rainmakers Football. That's promo code OPTIC. Build, play, win only at DraftKings. It's also time to talk about Factor. When the summer starts to wind down, fall can get a bit chaotic, but Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery makes it easy to stay on top of a busy schedule while sticking to my goals. Factor... Uh, Factor is the perfect meal solution for an on-the-go lifestyle, whether it's a quick lunch at desks in between meetings or a fully prepared dinner that you don't have time to shop for, prep, or clean up after. You you are covered with Factor for weeks at a time. Factor makes lunch and dinner on busy days a total breeze. Their fresh and never frozen meals are de- re- uh, are delivered, ready to heat and eat in two minutes, so you can fuel up fast and get on with your day new gourmet plus meals make eating at home feel extra special for an additional cost these meals are prepared to perfection by factors chefs and ready to eat in record time so you can savor the flavor and not stress the prep not only do factors meals save time they also keep you satisfied their chef crafted recipes are packed with restaurant quality flavor and it is so good you almost can't believe that it's dietitian approved. Factor even knows your own preferences. They offer vegan and veggie protein plus, keto, and calorie smart options, cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra proteins, veggie sides, and much more that'll keep you fueled all day long. Head to go.factor75.com slash optic130 and use code optic130 to get $130 off across six boxes. That's code optic130 at go.factor75.com slash optic130 for $130 off. If you haven't heard already, it is smooth sack summer. If you're playing in the sun, in the summer sun, make sure you're scaped from pubes to bum. Yeah, that's right. In order to keep your balls cool while looking hot with Manscaped, you got to use the products, man. You got to use the products. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare for the summer bod. Inside the package, you'll find the Lawn Mower 4.0 Trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all of your goodies. Well, not your goody goodies, but, you know, the actual goodies I just talked about. Did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? Beach, lake, or shower, this razor will devour (laughs) even the strongest pubes. Now that you have the perfect haircut, use Manscaped's liquid formulations to keep the freshness at even the hottest barbecues. Most importantly, use the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant that stays cool in the heat. With a soothing aloe vera formula, it's the best in the business for below the waist freshness. And this clear drying formula will keep you looking good while smelling good. 
Are you wearing sandals with some nasty toenails during the summer months? Take a look at the Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit. This kit includes stainless steel nail, nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. With the performance package, your balls will be ready to impress, but make sure you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code OPTIC at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code OPTIC at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. <laughs> I love those. All right, back to the podcast. Um, So, the I mean, are, y'all, are you a Game of Thrones guy? No, I never even not. watched it. But y'all two are. Is that bad? I'm actually jealous. Dog, it's so good. It. Wait, why do you say I'm jealous? Huh? If you could, if you could, he, if you could actually find the time to like sit through the boring parts, which is like all of season one, like <laughs> all you, of season one is just a set. It's like if set, you actually pay up. attention, like I know you don't watch it like that, but if you like pay attention, you'll like the show a lot. It's, it's I mean, re- I mean, it's really good. It's like the best show ever. Fucking damn, good. I'm like jealous. It's the best show it. ever. I just watch all Entourage though. Amazing. It's really good. <laughs> really good. I watched that with Mike and Will. Yeah, yeah. And I, Sopranos. I, I remember you guys watching that like when I first got, went to 6050 and you guys were all just watching Entourage and I didn't know what was going on. Then I went to Seth's the other, like a couple weeks ago and everyone in the room was talking about all the characters except for me because I was the only one who hadn't seen it. <laughs> you were like, I got to talk about Wait, when, when, when were you? When? Uh, your, when your brother was there and your fret. And oh, your, okay. Huh? Oh, you definitely got the invite. Definitely missed that invite. <laughs> Mother. Was it July Fourth? I can't remember. It had to have been. It was right before we went out somewhere. Oh, it was the optic party night. Was it? No. No, it wasn't the optic party night. Oh, we went to concrete. Yeah, for your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You didn't. You always get the invite. I do. You always get the invite too. No, I never get the invite. No. I never get the invite. No. Wait, how bad was the flooding? Insane. What? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot, I, Insane. You're, you're the only person that doesn't live around here. Bro, I literally so Wait, it was bad. I woke up like late and it was it was raining all day and then I woke up late. And I'm like, ah, oh, let me go get canes. So I go get canes and Bro. I'm driving. I'm like, holy shit, yo, it's crazy out here. Like it's so bad. I told myself What? One time What the fuck? So this is Dallas? Yes. Yeah. Yes. One time it was pouring so hard, right? And I go to this canes all the time and I took the exit, bro, and there was what a huge pile fuck? of water. And I'm like this is probably not a good time to take this exit. So I went the long way. Yeah, dude, the exit was fucking cars. Were, if you hit the water, bro, your car would just go. Like it would just get taken. Really? Dude, water, water, water is so Look, that's fucking my, final. That's, that, that's like, um, that's water actually, actually, that's actually horrifying. Downtown. If water just if gets you don't open car. the door quick enough, like you'll just get trapped. <sighs> that's fucking terrifying, bro. Bro, water's so fucking like, final. If you don't roll the window down before it like pressurizes, like you can't open the door, you can't do shit. Like, bro, what? Damn. Matt was saying you just bailed on the optic mailbox. I didn't know. It was Look good. at that car, bro. <laughs> Look at that silver <laughs> car. <laughs> oh my god. Like you can't do shit. Dude, that is that is, I didn't know it was that, that bad. My, so my mom texted me and said, Hey, is are you okay? Yeah, so that, that's really? what everyone yeah. was texting me too. I'm like, I'm good. Bro. I saw it on TikTok. I had no idea. I had no we idea it was like this. Don't watch the news. We don't like No, 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 no. Every I need to start watching the news. Man. Every podcast without fail now. <laughs> Every time he texts someone, says, "Yo, call me, call <laughs> yeah. me at five. Yo, we got ten thirty today. <laughs> guys, to the point where I start thinking, you guys think like I'm setting this up. <laughs> it's just an alarm. <laughs> it's just like, an alarm. Like eleven oh four. Now that's insane. Though. I hope everyone's yeah. okay. That's fucking crazy, dude. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, that is wild, bro. I saw clips of like water was moving, like that shit was like a river, bro. Like, like shh. <laughs> Dude, that is terrifying. I think all it takes is like two feet of water. Take a car, bro. The cre- look at that. What? That's all right, Damn. so that way, that right there is the exit I would take to get home. But I went around the top. Damn. You feel me? So, like, what what was it like near the offices? Like, was it bad? That there? area is is not going to be crazy. like. So, if you're in that area, there's no way you're getting out to go anywhere else. So you just gotta. You just gotta. Yeah, bear like, down you're not gonna fucking hit because all the bridge. Once you go under a little Run. underpass, flooded. Yeah, it's you know just what flooded saying? everywhere. That's insane. Is it bro. is it better now? Because it's still it drizzling. What? Yeah, it was raining when I got I here, I so I was like, car. damn. Yeah. yeah, it's not. That's dude. Look, bro, that, what look how high swimming. that water is. Yeah, that's wow. nuts. That is insane. That's terrifying, bro. But yeah, I hope I hope everybody's all right. Like they don't got like fucking. There's no way for this water to go. Like. That's why I saw like I saw someone say on like somewhere that like 
if it's not sunny in Texas, like we don't know what the fuck's going on. Like if it's <laughs> raining, we don't have the infrastructure. Yeah. If it's snowing, we don't have the Definitely infrastructure. Don't. Shit, the people that are in charge of like the I don't I don't even know what the terminology is. Like the people that are supposed to like the people that are noticing it's about to flood before it floods. Like those we, people, they're probably looking at like a, a meter or they're looking at like the levels rising and like Oh shit! You know what I'm yeah. and, then, and they're like, "This is about to be so bad." Oh dude. my god! And they're putting their coffee down. They're like, "You know what I'm saying?" Like, 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 dude, <laughs> like they're tripping. Like it's a movie. That, that, I mean, Colleyville. they have to know that their draining sucks. Like, cause it did it rain that much? It didn't, right? No, I think it did. It rained, a shit, it rained a shit ton. It was pouring. Yeah, that was the only thing. A shit See, it, it, we didn't get like it here. Ton. Yeah, we didn't get it. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it here, but in downtown. See, like, you would think we would get it because we're only like thirty minutes away. Yeah, that's why it was like eight inches of rain. I think. Damn. Eight inches of rain. That's way too much. Sorry. And everyone was everyone was like bitching about how it didn't <laughs> fucking rain for like Sorry. 70 days or some shit. And we just get flooded and out. And then we just fucking get trees falling yeah, and shit. Yeah, right? Dude, the trees were so weak. Like once the water hit it, that shit just collapsed. Dude. <laughs> A sign of climate no whiplash? whiplash? What does that mean? <laughs> Bro, what's what? going on? Is the climate actually like getting crazy? Yeah. I feel like I'm pretty it's... sure we're all fucked. But as humans, we just don't care because it's not going to affect us. It's yeah. uh, been 100 degrees for Pretty sure the a month are straight. Saying, yeah, we are fucked. 100 no, degrees for a month? And there's for like legit a timer. And they're like, yeah, by the time we get here, we're all dead. I've Two seen months. like 2050, insane, we're fucked. Bro. What? Yeah. Wait, oh, really? Yeah. Here? Look, or Matt, is that a fact? Uh, how many days in a row did Dallas have 100 degree heat? Like 67 really so? or some shit. Yeah. Right? You watch a lot of David Attenborough. I, I think <laughs> we're so, so fucked. You think we're so fucked? I think it's interesting how humans don't give a fuck that we're fucked. I give a fuck. Not enough. Uh, like, for, you don't I get, stay inside I all day. Oh, yeah. so like, my, is my carbon like, footprint a lot if, if I'm just staying inside? Even well, a million people caring is different than a million people rain. doing something. Maybe that would have. That's you know true. What I'm saying? That's true. Even if I give a fuck, I, I don't even know what I would do. Even if you give a fuck, you're still driving. And like, like, even if still, I give, yeah, even if I give a fuck. Like, it's just to, like, it's, it's like hard. And, and like, everyone's just like, well, if he's not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. And that's what everyone's fucking thought is. Except for like a handful yeah. of scientists and like group of people that are trying to stop it. And they're like, oh, this is horrible. And like little Dickie. And then they're going to give us like a 10 year countdown. Like if we don't change, we have 10 years. Yeah. And then everyone's going to be like, there's, there's, there's already a countdown like it's but they're like saying it's like a rough estimate. They're like, well, yeah, if we keep doing this, yeah, we're for sure fucked. And everyone's like, really? And they're like, yeah, 100 percent fucked. And they're just like, okay, I guess we'll <laughs> like try to 100%. do something about it. Like, Yeah, sure. Do if you want to. I'm telling you. Answer you the fucked. question. Is my carbon footprint high if I'm staying inside playing video games all day? Because I um, don't leave the house. I don't know. I wouldn't say. I don't I mean, think it has anything to do with you. It's higher than huh? the average person. I don't think it has person. anything to do with you. Well, I'm, I'm just saying like. I think like a company I, I'm more shoving so, shit into the water. Yeah, shoving shit into the atmosphere. I'm more so asking if like. I don't think you're affecting climate change that much. If that's what your question is. No, I no. I'm. I'm. I'm I'm asking a deeper question that like is is surface level with my question like okay. like how much am I emitting by just sitting inside? Not that much, not even enough to like really even talk about. Yeah, I think it's more of like it's uh, more the companies that are uh, doing okay. a, bunch a of lot shit. of companies, but also like I mean if you look at LA traffic, that's got to be a part of it too. Yeah, I mean like all every, that, like, all those there's fucking there's cars, like phones and shit. You yeah, walk there, you fucking thing. But like the, I said, I even mean, if you care, it's hard to. do A lot something. of people can't do anything about it because you have, you have to drive to work. You have to. Take a plane to go, you know, Hawaii. to work. Oh, I mean, it was my <laughs> first vacation ever. But it's good. Even, even, even if, even if, even if like, there, there's a point where we get fucked by it, there's a there's a lot of time before that that we start noticing things that are gonna fuck us up. That aren't, we're not fucked necessarily, but like our weather's gonna get horrible. Electricity the hurricanes heat? are gonna get horrible. Yeah, Electric, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like they're talking about yes. the flooding right now. That was horrible. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that Texas ain't made for that because it's like I mean I don't think Texas was built for that. Because it's like, never happened. That's what I'm saying. There was snow last has year. Has it ever happened before? Has it? Has Texas ever flooded like that? I'm sure. It I'm has. sure, it has. bro. That's that's what was like weird to me. Like when I moved here, I could have sworn even has like I had a I had an uncle that lived in Texas all my life, and I feel like I've I've only heard him bring up snow one on, since I've been here. It snows like it's fucking normal. Yeah, like, it's like yeah. normal. Yeah, bro. I saw something from Neil deGrasse Tyson who was saying if the if the ice caps melted, the sea levels would rise to the Statue of Liberty's elbow, which basically chalks all the coastal cities right away right because like that's going to be the time here before we're fucked that's going to be the time where we're like getting fucked you know what i'm saying where the water is just coming in and it's destroying all the cities we're getting pushed inland like that's the time that's going to be super aids where people might actually change we're like okay well la's gone new york's gone maybe we should do something now you know that's the time i think when people what's the timeline on that i don't know like oh, i mean five years you, I think? you know about the the glacier that if it falls like tsunami 70 would be meters. insane yeah. yeah i mean like they were been talking about that since a long time but yeah i mean i'm more scared of it melting than falling to be honest i mean it's like a giant fucking matt craig look up how long until the ice caps melt 
<laughs> Shit, the, the Statue of Liberty's They're elbow. going. That's kind of, that's nuts. I mean, it's 70 meters. That doesn't put it in perspective, like, I don't know. Whoa. 80 years? See, that's like the timeline. 80 will really melt 80 before years. 2100? If we, if we stay on the same course that we're on right now, yeah. That's right around See, my that's time. that's the timeline that they're giving us. Like, this is, they're right telling us, our we are fucked before then, but P, the humans, like, none of us will be alive for that year, right? Unless, like, you're, I mean, unless you're God, like, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know if there's any of us staying alive to that. No, nah, I mean, <laughs> shit. But, like, I'm not going to be one of five. Alive, that's what, that's what, I mean, that's what keeps that's people what from actually doing something about it. Because <laughs> they know they're not going to be around for it, so what about why their, the what about their What about their kids? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like, the people that do care are the ones with, with generational, like, they have the generational, like, you know. I mean, are you planning to have children at some point in your life? Nah. No, Maybe. I mean I'm Tactical not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bring kids into that. Now, I mean, yeah, that that's true. Dude, you that's know what I'm saying? Insane. That's you know true. How, how much uh, the Statue of Liberty's elbow? That's pretty fucking high. Yeah, that is high. Damn, everybody's gonna move to like South Dakota. Dude, I feel like we're watching fucking the day after tomorrow. We just have a blood. Uh, I mean, it's basically what's going to be. What? Look at that. North, northern, uh, South, South America's flooded. San Diego? Bye, Done. San Diego. Bye. That's kind of... all the like. I mean, all the best cities in the world are basically like fucking... Yeah. On, on next to a huge, lar large body of water. Look right? at Florida. Damn, Florida's gone. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, you look at a map like this, and then you're like, okay, maybe we should stop Holy fucking shit. doing what we're doing. Yo, you're imagine like, that. Uh, we're about to lose gone. our whole country, so let's stop doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. It'd be crazy, dude. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, that that's is gonna crazy. be the end of the world, bro. There's gonna be so many, people. bro. That's gonna be insane. It's gonna be the, everyone's gonna move like into even a more bro, like like even a more. So like even like now we're smiling area. about yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's already insane. crowded. <laughs> it's gonna get more even, crowded. Even now we're laughing about it because we know that we're not gonna be part of that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. Get it. That's the yeah. problem. Like, that's but what, also, like, it's like, not your fault. It's, but I, I, I'm smiling too. But it's also, like, like I'm not part of that. But that's the problem. What? What are we gonna do? Like if 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 all of a sudden everyone was like, all right, fuck it, everyone get rid of your cars and we're taking bikes to work. Like I'm down, I'll do that. Well, electric cars, right? Or but then again, it just said that 25 percent is electric and heat. Oh, I'm so sorry. that's still. Yeah, I mean, I think switching over to electric is. I mean, I, I they're trying, maybe, they're, they're doing it. With I'd a lot assume of cars. it would help immensely, but I don't fucking know. Most people don't think global warming's fake. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, man! Like it's so I was hard. actually it's so hard to get everyone to be. I was nowhere. taught. Yeah. I was taught in class that global global warming was was fake. I never heard about global warming until like I was taught in class that it was 10 fake. Years ago, probably one of my. Oh. It was a law teacher, like it was law or and actually, order whenever, teacher. Uh, Al Gore was talking about. It, I think it was the first time I ever heard about it. Oh yeah, and everybody just said he was crazy. Yeah, he was like, "Hey, we should change," and they're like, "You're fucking crazy." Exactly. Like, yeah. it's it's nuts, man. That is crazy. Yeah. That's, but yeah, I guess I got to worry about what time scrims are tomorrow. You know, it's like it's like it's just the it's just it's part of life. A problem it's like, yeah. it's, it's, back it's, to reality. It's so just like it's just a problem with humans. It's not in our just, reality. It's like a fungus on this planet, dude. I'm, like, like how about it? We're you've been like, watching a lot of David. Nah, no, no. We're David. like a fungus David's on animals. this planet. Think about it. We're just like just. He's definitely said that. Mm. We are an invasive species. You'd say fungi, because I think that's the correct terminology. Damn, uh, the fungus was my own doing. What's the fungus joke? I don't know. What do you call a mushroom at a party? A fun guy. Uh, okay. fun guy. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that is good. That is good. <laughs> Dude, we're overfishing the seas. That's, Think about that for a second. It's we're definitely over scary. Overfishing the seas. And we have we know more about space than the sea. I mean, we don't know much about either, but yeah, I guess you could say that. We know more about space, though. Yeah, but it's like it's just because we're so it's that's like saying that's like saying I know more about Rocket League than I do about Dota. <laughs> like, because I don't know either of them that well. You understand? We're talking about space and the ocean. Though. Yeah, but they're you get what I'm saying. I, I get that. I, mean, I, I get, get it. it. I'm, I'm on. Because you don't know shit about either. I don't know either. shit about either of them. Yeah. So why the fuck would you even take my credibility for either of them? That's why I don't. That's why I don't go in the ocean because I don't know shit about it. We don't know shit. Yeah, about I'm surprised it. you paddleboarded. That's what I'm saying. Like, what do you mean? Uh, the I mean, we're on the coast. Me. Like, Kraken could have got you. Yeah, sharks. What if you're just paddleboarding and you just Especially see in Hawaii? You look to your right. There's another guy, and you just see a tentacle. I turn to Sean. Run! He's turning. He's like, help! You're just like, holy shit! I'm just looking at him. You're just like, what the <laughs> fuck, oh, dude? That'd dude, be when crazy. we were in Mexico, like we, the boat would there's like this big ass rock, and it had like a circle in the middle, like cut out, and there people were swimming to it. There was like nice little fish there, and 
like I jumped off to swim over there. It was swimming. It was it was kind of far, so I was I was stopping. I'm like, damn, I don't want to really risk that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, a study like jumped off the boat and cut himself and started bleeding. And I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of the water. What the fuck? Yeah, no lie. I'm like, I would have been I gone. Made me, it made me. Did immediately, he stay in? Yeah. Well, no, he got out. Okay. But what I'm the like, fuck? dude. And then the guy was like throwing bread into the water. I'm yeah. I'm thinking like they're eating like fucking garlic bread with marinara sauce. I'm well, bro, sharks. I'm sharks. To say. To I don't think sharks yeah. would pick up the bread. No, nah, but I mean, but they like, like, like about how many sharks are smelling that blood from sharks different are, areas. Oh, like, yeah. there's a you lot Google of sharks. That. That Their are fucking nose that can smell that. A quarter of a mile away. God, you're telling me you're getting in the water, and this thing could possibly be there. Never will I get back in the ocean. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, I, I literally will never get back. You'll in the never ocean. get back in the ocean. I will never ocean? get back in the ocean. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I know too much about it now to even consider it. Wait, why? Because it's just like because if I'm ever in the jaws of a shark, I'm gonna think like this was not worth it. Why the fuck did I do this? Could have been in the pool. Even if it's not in the pool. I mean, even if it's not... I could have been in the shower if I wanted to fucking get wet this bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why am I going to go to this here. guy's fucking... Like, <laughs> living room? His realm, <laughs> What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm just sharks, waiting for you. Sharks are scary, bro. I don't fuck with sharks. But even, yeah. like, even outside of, like, the animals in the ocean, like, even just, like, the riptide and, like... Bro, like, yeah, just getting pulled out into the ocean. Fuck. And then you... Imagine... Uh, I had a fear of, like... Like I heard a story of a dude went deep sea fishing and then lost like his his uh compass broke or whatever. He didn't know which he was out in the ocean, didn't know which way land was. I'm happy you weren't snorkeling. I'm happy that imagine you got, how I'm happy you got two you, sunburned to go. Imagine like, how scary that because would be. Because there's a simulation where you're still out there right now and there's helicopters looking for you. And you're just floating away at sea. <laughs> the fuck? Exactly. I was like snorkeling. Or yeah, scuba diving, whatever the fuck. Dude, snorkeling, not... snorkeling's easy. You just sit there and look down. That's what you think. I can do snorkeling, but until you're getting dragged down, and what are you gonna do then? As your snorkel fills up and you're drowning, <laughs> and there's tentacles wrapped around you, both your thighs. I mean, yeah, that would be that would be fucked. Exactly. So why even put? Even if the chance is small, I mean, if well, the chance is there, miss me with that. I don't That's know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of only afraid of great white sharks, though. Then that's just very that's very naive of you. Then you think a tiger all? shark would fuck you up just as much? A bull shark would fuck you up just as bad. A hammerhead would fuck you up just as bad. You think so? Yeah. I feel like hammerheads are kind of chill. Would kill though. you in the worst possible way, probably. Yeah, like, I'm with just the questioning. Beat, just... Like, at what point do they snap and bite? I feel like hammerheads are chill. You just like they just pull swim up, up to one of you. Like what? A hammerhead attack is probably pretty unlikely, but like like I said, yeah, a, a tiger chill. shark is just as bad. A bull shark. A bull shark. Bull is the most sharks are not chill. Yeah. Bull shark. Bull sharks are assholes. Hammerheads are These definitely things are the, like looking for like fucking like stingrays. Look, he shit. can't even fucking see you, bro. Like, no, he can. You see, they're definitely sonar. the coolest looking. Yeah. Super I human. can't believe that is an animal. Like, how did that mutate? So that, that looks that, that looks like somebody made. drew that. Okay, yeah. Someone actually, if I saw him, that, I'd be him. fucking. Dude, I'd be I'd be if you saw a foot fucking hammerhead just swimming towards you, yeah. Wait, actually, sure. I have a fucking video. Hold on, I have a TikTok that's literally gonna see hammerhead caught off. I'm good. I'm good. Hammerhead caught off of North Carolina Beach. I will never get back. That's where my mom lives. Wait, where? North Carolina. North Carolina Beach, thirteen feet. I'll never get back in the ocean. Yeah, I'm, fuck that. I'm a pool guy. Watch this. I'm not even a fucking pool. I'm a stay at home in my room with the lights off guy. That's all right. Beach clothes after that, bro. Look, but this is not the point. <laughs> Are you, you see that? Like, was that a shark attack? It was like a shark almost attack. Oh, is that when he like? It comes up oh, to him. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. And they're watching it from like a hotel. They're just like, they're like whoa. whoa, bro. I've heard a story about a guy that's gotten he got hit by two great whites at once. I know a lady like, who like got they her leg bit off by a just, shark. They just murdered him. Really? Like, like a surfer just murdered him. Well, I don't know the lady, but they I just know someone them? who got their leg bit off by a shark. Really? Yeah, she's a babysitter. Really no lie. I mean, got a yeah, you're, so you're so fucked. That is crazy. Dude, so those fucked. things are meaty. They'll just bro. casually take your arm, bro. Casually. But uh, my thing is like, okay, like you're in obviously in their home, but like, I mean, I guess like if you, I've seen a fucking dog where it just you look at it and it just loses his mind and try to bite you. Like, at what point do they just say, "Fuck it, let me just swim up and bite this"? If they're hungry. If they're hungry, that's all it takes. Nah, some sharks. There, some sharks aren't stupid. That's what I'm saying. He's like, not they're just stupid idiot. sharks they're out like, there. They're, like, they're curious enough to come and touch you. Yeah, yeah for You've sure. Seen finding that's you. all it takes is just like a little bit of touch. Like if they're touching my foot and I'm in the water, I'm tripping just about to hit me. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. yeah, yeah. You're just surfing. You're just sitting there. You're sitting there on your paddleboard. You're just like, so what do you want to eat for dinner? And you just feel like a fucking. Okay, you're scarring me now. <laughs> I'm trying to warn you, bro, because I'm surprised you went paddle. Dude, they don't come to the shore often. Be surprised how close sharks get. 
<laughs> Bro, sharks will attack you in fucking five feet of water. A bull shark will attack you in five feet of river water. That's like attached to the, the ocean. They'll just swim in, attack you at your house. Well, not at your house, but. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's like your fucking DoorDash. See, Iz loves the ocean, so like I'm kind of fucked. Like I'm kind of forced into the ocean. Nah, Iz no, likes you're not. I don't like, want to kill your guys' relationship either. with the ocean. Then it's, it's, I'm sure it's safe. Oh no, I, I'm not an ocean guy. Like I'm not a marine. You know, you just stand on the shore and just. I'm not a marine enthusiast. Yeah, walk up, get your feet wet. Yeah, hey, you're Crouch doing good out there. That's how I'll be. Come back, bro. Fuck all that other shit. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Optic Podcast for the day. That was episode 88. We talked about Roster Mania and sharks. We will see you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Warming. Also, we, check out the, uh, we the extra podcast on the on Nation. See you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.